I'm Bethany Carlson and I am a student here at Northwest State. I'll be graduating this May of 2016 with a business management degree, an entrepreneurship, and a marketing degree. I graduated from Edgerton High School and I came to Northwest State with the honor scholarship and a member of the Dean's Leadership Cluster Group. All right, and with a triple major, what made you want to get into a triple major? I wanted to get into a triple major because I am a business owner and I started looking at the business management, the entrepreneurship, and the marketing degrees. And there were marketing classes, advertising classes, there were a lot of entrepreneurship classes, but then there was a lot of management classes. For if my business got bigger, I wanted to be able to manage my people. So I figured that I would take all three degrees, which I took some high school credits here at Northwest State, and that all together, I was able to do it in two years. And I have a, my, my own business is Liberty Honey. I'm a beekeeper, so I sell honey, chapstick, candles, and I wholesale for the Naked Bee. And I also sell bees and honey, and my bees go to Florida in the wintertime. So it's an in, there's two states that my bees are in every year. So I thought that these triple majors would help me in every aspect of my business. And this business you have is not a new business from what I understand, right? No, it's not. I started just before high school, so my eighth grade year, which this year, it'll be seven years ago, that I got my first hives of bees. I started talking to other beekeepers, and I thought this would be so cool. And with my personality, I love wildlife and nature, and it just flowed so well. So it's just grown, and now I have about 100 hives, and my parents have gotten into it, too. Now, what is the um, future? Uh, what are the future prospects for that business? My future for my business is this year I hopefully will send my bees to California for pollination so that's an extra added revenue for me. I'm planning on selling lots more honey. I want to get into a couple of different stores. I'm in two beauty shops and a gas station right now in Edgerton and I want to expand that out of the Edgerton area. And then on top of that I'm looking at a couple storefronts if I want to open a storefront and also I want to get into selling and making queens which that's a really big business in beekeeping where not only am I selling bee products but I can sell the bees themselves and I just want to grow the business to where I never have to work for somebody else in my entire life. What are um, some things you've learned at Northwest State that you've already been able to apply to your business? I've definitely learned a lot about advertising and I've applied that to my business, some advertising, a little bit of the marketing side. I've updated my website a little bit more. I have a local bee article in our local paper, The Edgerton Earth. Uh, it's called The Buzz on Bees with Bethany. <laughs> and a lot of that I've been able to target some, I, have, I figured out a target market, my young health conscious people, so I've really focused on them and it's helped with my salesmanship when I'm talking to people about honey and also I've learned a lot about entrepreneurship just as a mindset and how you have to see opportunities and how you have to seize them and how you can just use use your business to grow you as your person, grow you in your social life, I mean just really be a part of your business and at one with it and I've learned a lot about that. The Dean's Leadership Cluster at Northwest State is a select group. The individuals are kind of handpicked to be part of that group. What do you think it is they saw in you to be part of that group? Well, uh, you first you have to have a good GPA and SAT, ACT scores and stuff like that. But I think the biggest thing that they're looking for is initiative and drive. That There's a lot of people out there that are extremely smart and do great in school, but they don't have much motivation to do other than that, just to make the grade. And we were sought out, us group, we were sought out for our motivation, and I'm extremely motivated trying to, I try to get into everything that I can. I'm really involved in Farm Bureau stuff that affects my bees. I was really involved in a lot of activities in high school, and I'm involved in SBO and SCOA here at Northwest State. And so with us, in, a, a group of really involved students when we go to on trips like when we went to Cincinnati and Portland we people that have a drive like that are so much more interactive when we meet with entrepreneurs like uh, the head of Pendleton Woolen Mills that's a sixth generation owned company a family owned and we got to meet with that sixth generation. We got to meet with all kinds of Shark Tank entrepreneurs like Tom and Chi and Salt and, 
straw, ice cream, I mean just so many different people that we've met with and when you're motivated like that you want to ask questions, we want to draw out their knowledge and use it in our lives and so that's sort of the kind of drive that you have to have and that makes the, the group flow together. How motivated do you feel returning from a trip like the Portland trip? How do you apply that to not only your education but to your business? I feel super motivated after going to Portland. All these people that have, we've we met with huge companies like Columbia and Pendleton Woolen Mill and then we also met with small com companies like uh, Salt and Straw Ice Cream and then Scratch and Grain. They make these little cookie boxes and they uh, they sell them and they're just they're, they, they call themselves mom entrepreneur mom entrepreneurs or they're moms but yet they're entrepreneurs and they just started so small and they're still really small but they're over a million mil several million dollars in sales in just a couple years out and that seeing that for me as a small company a small business where I'm just I'm still doing it by myself and that's how they started out too and they're just now getting six eight employees but they're doing huge sales and it's motivating to me so that I can see that I'm not the only one that is still small but trying to grow but don't really have the means to grow yet. I mean, I'm not the only person that's out there like that. And it really gives me a lot of motiv motivation and something to look forward to, to getting to the point where they're at, where all, they're almost out, about to break out into big manufacturing and lots of employees and having multiple accountants and things like that. So, I mean, it's just really motivating for me to see the other stages of business. Did you anticipate opportunities like this when you selected to attend Northwest State? No, I had no idea. I was told before I went to Northwest State, well, a lot at my school in Edgerton, that you won't get big opportunities at a small school like Northwest State. But I still think that I'm one of the only people that's traveled as much as I have with my school. There's a couple people that are about to do internships other places in the world. But just as part of our curriculum, traveling, I've been to Portland, I've went to a trip to Cincinnati, I've met with a lot of other local businesses. Like, I don't know anybody that's doing stuff like that. And not to mention, I mean, a big opportunity for this school also is cost savings. I'm, I'm still at home, I can still do my business, I can still work, and I can save myself money with the scholarship that I got and with how hard I work, and I can pay for the rest of it. I mean, that's an opportunity that people overlook too. And speaking of internships, you have the uh, opportunity, you've applied for some internships in some pretty exotic locations, so tell us about those. I applied for the Cultural Agricultural Exchange Program or CAEP, where they take people from outside the United States and inside the United States and they swap us. So I applied for the apiary program, or beekeeping, where I could have an internship opportunity for three to six months, six to eight, or even up to a year in Australia, New Zealand, Central Florida, Hawaii, or even um, the Midwest or Canada and I'll hopefully find out pretty soon, but while I'm there, I'll work with usually their family businesses or family operations, family farming, and I'll get to live with them or have an apartment around there. They'll show me everything that they have about their business. I'll, I'll jump in and start working with them. And, and also, it's a cultural experience. So part of being a host family is that you have to show your intern or myself really about your culture, take us to places there, eat, we have to experience the food, the music, all that kind of stuff, and I love to travel, so this is a, like the best thing for me, to be able to combine beekeeping, travel, and a cultural experience all together. Bethany, thank you very much for sharing your NSCC Proud story with us.